The FKB series is a family of two-stage air cleaners for medium dust conditions. This new air cleaner family delivers the performance of larger competitive air cleaners in a rugged, compact design. With heavy-duty plastic construction and non-metal filters, this air cleaner is lighter, more efficient, and easier to install and replace than competing products. Another key design feature is the built-in mounting brackets meaning that there is no need for additional mounting support. Here are the service steps. Step 1. Check the filter service indicator. Filter service indicators mounted on the air cleaner system are recommended for monitoring the air cleaner restriction level and indicating when servicing is due during normal operation. Replace the filter only when the restriction level has reached the maximum recommended by the engine or equipment manufacturer. If the restriction level is in question, or to test the initial restriction, remove the filter service indicator and measure the system restriction using a clock type restriction gauge or a water manometer. For more on Donaldson restriction indicators and measuring tools, see module A18. Step 2. Shut off your engine. Step 3. Clean out the vacuator valve. Remove the vacuator valve and clean out any dust found in the drop tube. Reinstall the vacuator valve or replace it if it's worn or damaged. Step 4. Remove the service cover. Unlatch and remove the service cover on the FKB air cleaner. Step 5. Remove the primary filter. To remove the primary filter, press and rotate the filter counterclockwise until free. Then extract the primary filter by slowly pulling it out of the housing. Application note, avoid dislodging contaminant from the filter as it is removed from the air cleaner housing. Step 6. Remove the safety filter or liner. Next remove the safety filter or support liner by pulling it straight out. This allows necessary access to properly clean the primary filter's seal surface. Application note. If a safety filter or liner is not present, check to see if it has attached itself to the inside of the primary filter during removal. Inspect the seal surface and housing for any damage. Replace the complete air cleaner if damage is present. Step 7. Clean the inside surface. Block the outlet tube of the air cleaner using a small dampened towel prior to proceeding with cleaning the seal and locking surfaces to avoid contaminating the induction system. Application note. Failure to do so may cause contaminants to be introduced to the outlet tube or onto the seal area of the primary filter during reinstallation, resulting in a leak for dirty air. With a clean damp cloth, thoroughly clean the inside surface of the housing, seal, and lock surface. Step 8. Inspect primary and safety filters. Inspect new filters for any damage, voids, cuts, tears, or indentations in the media or urethane sealing surfaces. Application note. Replace the safety filter with every third primary filter change unless excessive dust has settled on it during servicing. It is not necessary to replace the support liner unless it is damaged. If you are reusing the safety filter, keep it clean while servicing the housing to avoid contamination. Step 9. Install the safety filter. Remove the dampened towel from the outlet tube that was used to protect the induction system during servicing. Install the safety filter or support liner by pressing it firmly in place until seated. When properly fitted, it should fit snugly inside the outlet tube. Step 10. Install the primary filter. Install the new primary filter by pressing and rotating the filter clockwise until fully fitted against the stop. Step 11. Fasten the service cover. The inlet arrow should line up with the air cleaner inlet. Do not force the cover onto the air cleaner. It should go on with no extra force. Application note. If the cover does not fit flush to the body, 
The primary filter is not properly seated in the housing. Recheck the primary and safety filter installation following the proper installation procedure so they become fully seated. The cover will then go on easily. Refasten the latches which secure the cover. Make sure that the latches penetrate the slots in both the body and the cover. Step 12. Inspect the air cleaner system. Inspect and torque all clamps, bolts, and connections in the entire air intake system. Check for holes in piping and repair if needed. To conclude our training module, let's summarize the service steps presented. Check the filter service indicator. Check the vacuator valve. Remove the service cover if applicable and then remove the used primary filter. Visually inspect the safety filter. If not servicing the safety filter, do not remove to inspect. If servicing the safety filter, remove and inspect. Clean the inside of the filter housing with a damp cloth. Inspect the new filters. Install the safety filter if applicable and then install the primary filter. Reinstall the service cover. Check the entire air system for worn or loose components. This information is provided as a best practices guide. It is not, however, intended to replace or supersede the service instructions supplied by your engine or vehicle manufacturer.